In the last lesson, we added a sorting feature to our music list. We made this setting sticky by storing it in NS user defaults, and it appears to be working great. But I wondered if we could do better. It would be really nice if we could automatically synchronize those settings across all devices a user may have. And starting with iOS 5, now we can. I'm guessing by now you've probably heard of iCloud. Assuming you're an iOS user, you're probably already using it iCloud is a great new cloud-based service from Apple that allows you to take a photo or create a document on one device and magically have it show up on all of your other devices. Overall, the solution has worked pretty well for me, and I'm definitely excited about what it means to the future of the platform. One lesser-known feature of iCloud, at least from the public's perspective, is that you can use it to store small amounts of application data in a key-value store. This will be a great fit for our preference syncing needs, so in this lesson, we'll begin the process of getting iCloud syncing set up in our app. Before we can use iCloud in the iMusic app, we first need a few things. One, you need to have an active iCloud account. If you don't already have one, go ahead and sign up for one with Apple. It's free of charge. After you've set up your account, we then need to do a little project configuration as well as go to the provisioning portal on Apple's website. I'll start by going over to the iOS Dev Center. I've already logged in, and I'm going to go to the iOS provisioning portal. From this list on the left, I'll select App IDs. I'll scroll all the way down. Now, this is my development account, so I only have a wildcard ID set up. I don't have specific app IDs, which is fine for what we need to do. But on this wildcard ID, you can see over on the right, I have this configure link. I'll click that. And from here, we can do some configuration of this app ID. Specifically, we can set up what services are available. Now, things like push notifications and Game Center are unavailable, and that's because those require an explicit app ID be set up. But for iCloud, all we need to do is select Enable for iCloud. It's going to give me this warning saying that all new provisioning profiles you create for this app ID will be enabled for iCloud. If you wish to enable iCloud for any existing provisioning profiles associated with this app, you must manually regenerate them. This effectively just means we've invalidated our existing provisioning profiles that we might have installed, so we'll want to grab a new one after we've finished this process. I'll select OK and click Done. Let me do that again. I must have misconfigured something. No, I just had the wrong state. So it is enabled, and I can see this little green indicator showing that it's enabled. Click Done again. But I can see iCloud is now enabled for this app ID. I don't need to do any further configuration in the provisioning portal, so I will close this down. And I'll open up the Organizer. I'll select Provisioning Profiles, and just refresh all my current profiles. Check my device provisioning profiles. And it appears I've got one invalid one, so let me just delete that one. Let me just switch over to that device and make sure I can deploy to it. And build and run. Okay, that looks good. You can't see this on screen, but I can see it sitting in front of me. All right, so we've got the configuration done. We've got our updated profile. The one last thing we need to do or enable some iCloud entitlements for this project. If you select the root of your project and select the iMusic target and look at the summary tab, if you scroll all the way to the bottom of the screen, you'll see this section called Entitlements. And this will create an entitlements file that will essentially allow this application to talk to iCloud. I'll select the Enable Entitlements checkbox. And this created an entitlements file called iMusic. You can see that up here in the navigator. I specifically want to set up an entitlement for the iCloud key value store. So I'll click this checkbox, and this will define an identifier indicating the key value store that I can write to on the user's iCloud account. We don't need to set up any additional iCloud containers since we'll just be writing to the key value store container on iCloud. Our keychain access group was automatically set up. So no further configurations needed. Okay, so we should be good to go. In this lesson, we saw how to enable iCloud in the provisioning portal and set up our entitlements so the iMusic app can interact with iCloud. We're ready to move forward.